Revelation 257. From the 13th of January 1938. Tax free guidance of the life ship line. God's word. Glory. And in the inner knowledge of the eternal truth your life goal. It is a daring enterprise, if you want to do justice to the task on earth without God's help. It is not possible for you to lead the ship of life without steering. You must call on the Lord for help at any time. But if you follow his commandments, you will get over all storms of life unharmed. Not a hair can be bent on your head without the will of the Father. So do not seek to hide your misery from him, but trust in him. No little star falls from heaven unless it is his will, and so you too are in his hat. The Lord cares for you, he courts your soul. And if you want to listen to him, your spirit is saved forever, because his word will always proclaim to you his love, his omnipotence and his wisdom. And if you want to hear him, he gives you everything. According to your needs, he blesses those who follow him, he considers with his grace, whose life on earth is a walk in love. And hence allow yourselves be pointed to eternity for this is the only value of life. Of lasting value are only the deeds of love but the earthly world is like foam. It passes away and nothing but the deeds of the spirit remain. Strive upwards, the face always turned to God. The heart surrendered to the Saviour in love and loyalty. So you follow his teachings and offer yourselves to the Lord. And still you will be able to recognize only a part of the divine truth because the Lord has assigned this in its entirety to eternity. So you will stand in the light and see the glory of God with spiritual eyes. Because only then you will grasp how great the love and kindness of the Father is. Only when you see the word himself in his glory, do you desire to penetrate ever deeper, and then the Lord will enlighten you. Pay attention on earth because there only disaster threatens you, and to escape it, direct your attention to the hereafter. You are warned so that your eyes do not become clouded and keep the little light, which was kindled by the kindness of the Father to rescue you from darkness. Everything has been created by his will, and nothing is without purpose. And let God let you hear his voice, so see also in it his will. It is the purpose of his words to save you from destruction. For only he who is my word will live in eternity. Amen.